Welcome to a new web series where we discuss color management in the digital print industry. Today, we're gonna to cover CMYK colors versus PMS colors. So PMS stands for Pantone Matching System. PMS is recognized as the universal color language when referencing colors across numerous industries, such as textiles and print. PMS colors are purchased pre-mixed inks from certified PMS suppliers, so the ink will be the same color no matter where you are in the world. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and the K is black. CMYK can also be referred to as process colors. By combining these four colors together, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, we can make a wide range of colors. Colors made from CMYK values are not universal across the world. So let's take this concept of CMYK colors versus PMS colors to paper to further explain it. Let's go. I have this orange colored pencil in my hand and it's labeled PMS 151. I'm going to make a square of this color on my white paper. As you see, PMS 151 is the only color that is coming out of this colored pencil. Now let's make the same color using CMYK values. I have a cyan, magenta, yellow, and black colored pencil to make this color. Let's reference the Pantone color book to see the percentage of each color I will need to make PMS 151. The left side of the Pantone book has the true PMS color and the right side has the CMYK value. Looks like I need 60% magenta and 100% yellow and no black or cyan. Let me sketch out this color. As you can see, the two colors don't match, but they are close. The orange colored pencil is made from straight PMS 151 and the CMYK colored pencil square is made from magenta and yellow. Now let's take this concept to the computer. I'm going to make a square and fill it with PMS 151. Let's make the same color using CMYK. I'm going to take a 60% magenta box and overlay a 100% box of yellow. As you can see, the two colors are different because they are made of different color properties. One is straight PMS 151 and the other is made up of CMYK values. Let's try making the magenta 70% and see if we can get any closer to PMS 151. Adding more magenta or yellow just makes the color further away from PMS 151. 60% magenta and 100% yellow is the closest we will get to PMS 151. So let's take this concept we just learned and see how it relates to the print industry.